Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I have Corey again from Lux hey, RV. What's happening? And he's going to take us for a ride in this 2022 Ram 5500. What kind of suspension is on it? This is the Kelderman Air Ride front and rear with the monotube shocks. They've now offer the monotube shocks all the way around for the chassis cab so this is a little bit different than the trucks that we've done in the past uh, and then it has the kelderman um, steering stabilizer system as well to nice steer. good stuff i just want you guys to know something when i've done reviews on these cabin chassis trucks without a bed on them, without anything on them it rides awful i mean these things have what 19 and a half inch wheels and tires which are a little bit stiffer Correct. And yep. so, even with that, right. even with that bump just, hey, yeah, right. <laughs> just kind of soaked it up. Wow. We wouldn't be able to have a conversation in here nope. very easily. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> so, like a you know a switchback for these wide track axles, you know. Just... Oh my gosh! You got the turning radius and you got the comfort. Absolutely insane. This is a 60 inch capped axle too, guys, but. Corey was telling me if it was a 84. We probably wouldn't have made that turn, but it's going to ride even better with the longer wheelbase. Mm. It's just going to make it even smoother. Wow. Yeah, just in that parking lot, if I was trying to figure out if I wanted a Kelderman, I would have already told him to turn around and said, nope, just had this Kelderman. I want 100%. This is insane. This rides better than my 3500. And, and we do do a liquid spring as well. We get asked about that quite a bit. We're a, a dealer and installer for liquid springs as mm -hmm. well. So that is an option. Um, we've got the turnkey truck set up with the Kelderman Air Rides. Um, but there's nothing to say. We we can definitely do the liquid springs as well. So. What's the anyway. price difference between liquid and uh, Kelder? Uh, shooting from the hip, I believe it's about 5000 okay. total. You know, for front and rear is about the difference. Um, I don't, you know, I don't have pricing in front of me. But no, no, you're, you're fine. And then as far as the, and you think they ride, they uh, handle and ride about the same? I think they they are a very similar ride. The uh, the thing with the liquid spring is it's a little more reactive because of the way that's set up with the pump. Uh, their their liquid spring setup, they're able to um, basically change that spring rate mm. on the fly, kind of the same way that these mechanical controls do on the air ride, but they're not as quick. To change uh, to adjust the changes in the road. I see. Uh, so the liquid spring, I think, really that's the big kind of takeaway that I've seen with them. Um, the air rides, I, from a mechanical standpoint, I think would be a little bit easier to work on on the fly. Um, you know, if there is an issue as far as like, getting a hydraulic hose or something made like that for a liquid spring, but. Mm -hmm. I think they're both great systems, and that's why we do do both. Gotcha. Just a little bit different price point. Well, that makes sense. I cannot believe we're riding in the 5500, guys. Like, I'm serious trying to say this. Like, I hated reviewing these because I had to move them, and if I wanted to move them down the lot, they were just so stiff. But um, in terms of like the gross fuel weight, like what kind of weight? capacity of these Kelderman suspensions have? Sure, so with the Kelderman and the liquid spring, the same uh, same thing rings true with both. Uh, the liquid spring and the Kelderman are not going to add or take away from the actual rating of the truck. Um, mm -hmm. We get asked that question quite a bit, so we're not actually changing the placard, we're not re-engineering the chassis, the frame, there's no axle changes, all that stuff is staying factory. So the Kelderman Air Rides and liquid springs they're gonna match what the spring capacity was originally, gotcha. but keep the truck level. You nice. know, it's gonna maintain the ride height. If you really wanna split hairs on that maintaining ride height is, you have to factor in that the sidewall of the tire is going to squish. It's gonna change a little bit when mm. you add weight onto the truck. But as far as the suspension, it's gonna maintain its height. Wow. And give you an amazing ride. Yeah. And you know, all the features of dumping the suspension, hooking up, getting in and out of the back of the truck, and that's Oh, yeah, that, that's a good point too. Like Corey was just showing me outside just now. If you ever need to, let, you know, hook up to your trailer, or if you want to get into the back of the bed of the truck, you can just hit a button on the side here. It'll drop down the back of the truck. Will it drop the front too? Can you? Or um, there is a system that allows that. We can put the solenoids on to do that, but typically we do the rear. But yeah, the okay. short answer is you could do that. Yes. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
Now, as far as like, what's like the downtime? If someone wanted to bring a truck to you, what would be the downtime you would say to get parts and then getting it installed and? Sure. So normally we only need the truck at the shop six to eight weeks okay. is the downtime for the truck to physically be there. Um, you know, right now we're about 14 weeks for a lead time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously we plan to get the truck there closer to when we would start on it. We get a down payment, we get you on the schedule. Um, a lot of times with brand new trucks, they're just being drop shipped and then we kind of have to work you into the schedule depending on when the truck shows up. So once we have the down payment, again, it's like call ahead seating. You know, we're gonna take your truck ahead of other trucks, you know, depending on when you're put on the schedule. Um, but if somebody else's truck shows up, we're gonna go ahead and do it if yours isn't theirs. So. Gotcha. But usually about six to eight weeks is the actual turnaround time. Okay. I hope you guys can see me. Like, I'm serious when I say this. Super comfortable. I have to keep looking back to make sure this is the same truck because it just feels really comfortable. I mean, I, I understand now why guys buy these trucks because they tow heavy. And if you get the suspension, you'll get the comfort of a you know, regular 3500 when it's under load. That's, how, that's actually how it feels right now. It feels like we're towing a trailer right now because once you add that weight, it typically makes the suspension soften up a little bit, even on like a 3500. But yeah, I'm definitely sold on the Kelderman. And you can do a Kelderman suspension even on like a single rear wheel. Yeah. You can do it yeah, on a sure. F350, whatever. Right. Yeah, okay. The reason why I ask that question is if you guys are the market, Corey's at Lux in Indiana. If you would like for him to build a truck for you, if you would like for him to even, you know, just kind of give you some pointers, you can do all this with him. Like he's a one stop shop. So if you own your truck, you can seriously get this stuff added to even a single rear wheel. Like this, I'm not exaggerating, like this is ridiculous. And that's just coming from someone who's never had a chance to really test out a Kelderman suspension. Like as a passenger, I can clearly tell you that this rides just as good as my GMC over here. Like it rides just as good. And we're not even under load. So I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to check out Corey. I'll put his information here in the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alrighty, so I was talking up the Kelderman a ton. So I need to say something real quickly. I do not get paid to do videos with Lux. They don't pay me to do those videos. And I feel like I need to say that before I give you my impression. So Corey is probably one of the best people to reach out to if you are in the market for a Lux RV and you need a truck to tow it. So he's gonna be everything truck. So if you need a hauler bed, fifth wheel hitch, uh, pin box, anything, that's your guy. Um, he typically recommends just getting a cabin chassis or just moving up to a freight liner. They will do freight liners too. But I'm serious when I say this. That Kelderman was on another level. Um, I was not expecting the ride to be that good. I was expecting it to be slightly better than stock. But it was truly a totally different pickup. It felt like a Ram 3500 from GM because they have the uh, independent suspension up front. It does ride a lot better than Ford and Ram. And because we're talking about Lux fifth wheels, they are super heavy and you will probably need a truck like that to tow them. Uh, just to give you an example, I mean, those probably have anywhere between 4,500 pounds to up to 6,000 pounds of pinweight that they add to the truck. So most of your Ram 3500, Ford, and Chevy Duallys will not work because they're going to have about 52 to 5500 pounds, give or take. Sometimes it could be a little bit more depending on the uh, trim level and if you are rocking four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. But in most cases, you're going to need to step up to this. And because the 5500 has a 19.5 GVWR, let's just assume the truck is 11.5. That's going to give you about 8,000 pounds of payload capacity. So something that Corey does is he will add additional fuel tanks so he can do quite a bit of fuel handling too. So that's something you have to consider as well. If you have no need to buy a Lux fifth wheel, Corey will build a truck for you if you tow horse trailers, if you do hot shot. So that's something else to consider. Even though he typically does do a lot for Lux and the RV side of the house, you can still have him build a truck for you at the shop if you don't even plan on buying a fifth wheel. So that's just something to consider because he can order a truck for you, he can option it out. And because he does it a lot, it's something that he knows. So I always recommend to go to a dealer who does 
a lot of you know cabin chassis orders because a lot of guys don't understand how to order these pickups and because he's doing it on a monthly basis he probably has a little bit more knowledge but as far as cost goes that truck's gonna cost you around 150,000 plus um, I think the way he had that one done with that painted hauler bed it looks so stinking good it's probably over $150,000 so just keep in mind you know if you are looking to buy a pickup you're gonna probably be about a hundred grand just for a limited Ram 5500 and figure that up it's gonna be upwards of about fifty thousand dollars because that bed and um, even the mechanism like something that they added which is so cool is you can actually use the keyless entry for the uh, storage areas on the bed so now you don't have to work and get your keys out to open them up it's so cool the LED lights inside of there they just done a really good job and of course that with that price you know you're pretty much hooking up and going so hope this video was helpful special shout out to Lux for allowing me to do the video with them and taking me for a ride with their $150,000 pickup and be sure if you are in the market to reach out to them if you plan on doing some fifth wheel see you guys in the next video